I'm UCTV News reporter Luke Hydash here with Den or excuse me, Dr. Kenneth Dr. Brooks, <laughs> an American composer here at the University of Connecticut who recently won a Grammy. Dr. Fuchs, welcome. Thank you so much. I'm delighted to be here. So I first wanted to ask you, uh, you'd been nominated in the past for Grammys. What made this time different? Well, I think the fact that we had uh, four nominations, this is our fourth one. Um, this recording with the London Symphony Orchestra is very special for a number of reasons. First, uh, it is my fifth recording for Noxos with the London Symphony Orchestra with my longtime friend and champion, Joanne Folletta. Joanne and I were classmates together at Juilliard, and we have recorded those five discs over 15 years with the LSO. So this recording is celebrating a 15-year recording partnership. And I think that was part of the success this time. Also the fact, the, the, the extremely important fact of it was at the Grammys, the Year of the Woman, <coughs> and an emphasis, a renewed emphasis on uh, diversity and, and highlighting the, the, the extraordinarily different types of music that can be honored by the Recording Academy. And um, Joanne is actually was the first female nominee in the category that we won, Best Classical Compendium. And so I think that was also part of it. And the fact that the uh, repertoire on the recording itself is quite unusual. There are four works. There are concertos for piano, electric guitar, and saxophone, and an orchestral song cycle for countertenor. And uh, I'm thrilled to tell our audience that uh, there really aren't that many electric guitar concertos for, um, with symphony orchestra. There are only five or six. So it was very unusual, kind of oddball mix of repertoire that I think really put it over the top. How has this award shaped your teaching? Well, <clears throat> When I was growing up, when I was an undergraduate student at the University of Miami, I studied with a man named Alfred Reed, who was one of the influential people in establishing educational programs in uh, the entertainment industry, in music business. And at the University of Miami, he established a program called uh, Music Merchandising, where he taught the aspects of, of the music business and what it is to, to write a contract and what is copyright and how does that affect a composer and a uh, recording artist. So I learned at an early age from Alfred uh, some very important lessons about the kind of entrepreneurship skills that not only composers but, but all musicians need to uh, promote their music. And, and so today at UConn, I, I am always talking to my student composers about uh, the entrepreneurial aspects that are absolutely necessary and required to succeed in a professional career. What's next going forward? Where do you go from here? Well, I have several commissions uh, lined up. The next piece is a concerto for flute and orchestra. And after that, um, I'm actually very honored to have been asked to compose a piece in memory of the Parkland High School shooting. Um, I grew up in Broward County, Florida, and that was the reason I think that the Florida Bandmasters Association has asked me to uh, compose a memorial work for the, the victims, both living and not living, of that tragedy. And I'm, I'm deeply honored to be asked and premieres a year from now. All right. Well, Dr. Kenneth Fuchs, thank you so much thank for being so here. Take care. Thanks. Thank